Hi, I'm Jennifer Lee, Senior Admin Evangelist. We all wish that our automations went flawlessly every time. Wouldn't it be great to know when something unexpected happens? Did you know that you can now configure error handling right in Musoft Composer? Sai Fang, Senior Product Manager of Musoft Composer, will show you a short demo of how you can incorporate error handling into your Composer flows so you won't be caught off guard in the future. Over to you, Sai. As with any process, the unexpected sometimes occurs. It may be due to network disruption, systems can become unresponsive, or there may be data integrity issues. There could be many others. Now you can better handle errors in a composer flow and further automate your process. Let's review a simple use case. When a high priority case is created in Salesforce Service Cloud, we want to create a Jira issue so that the engineering team can immediately work on the case and provide timely support to our customers. We also want to send the engineering team a Slack message to notify them of this high priority issue. The Jira case ID is then updated on the Salesforce case record. We have noticed sometimes Composer fails to create the issue in Jira. Without a proper way to handle this error, the case may be delayed or lost. This error has negative impact on response time and customer satisfaction. Let's see how we can better handle this kind of error in a Composer flow. Here's the Composer flow. Step 1. It's an event-based trigger listening on any new case record in Salesforce with high priority. Step 2. Creates a new Jira issue. Step 3. Post a Slack message to the support Slack channel to inform the engineering team of a high priority case. Step 4. Updates the Salesforce case record with the Jira issue ID. We want to add a new error handling step to watch and handle any errors in the Jira create issue step. Let's create a new step after the Salesforce trigger at step 1. Select the error handling step in the logic section of the next step. The error handler has two sections, the watch and the on error. The watch section will look out for any errors in the steps and will redirect the flow to the on error section if any error occurs. You can create or move steps into the watch section. The error section will start processing when the error occurs in the watch section. You can configure, add, or move steps into the on error section to handle your error. You can have multiple on error sections in one error handler for more complex error handling. If you do, you can add conditions to run that branch of the on error. You can set the after running condition to either continue or stop the flow after the on error section is run. Continue will allow the flow to continue running outside of the error handling block after the steps are processed in the on error section. This will also mark the flow as success in the run history if there are no other unhandled errors. Stop will end the flow after the steps are processed in the on error section. This will also mark the flow as failed in the run history. When error occurs in a Jira create issue step, we want to post a new Slack message to the support team's channel and update the Salesforce case record to mark the Jira ID field to fail. This way, the support team will get notified, easily find the failed record, and fix the issue. Let's move the Jira create issue step into the watch section to watch and handle errors. Now let's create and add steps to the on error section to handle this error. We are going to set the condition to none, so this on error section will run for all types of error in the Jira create issue step. We also want to stop the flow and not process the remaining steps to post the Slack message to the engineering team and update the Salesforce case Jira ID field. So let's set the after running to stop. We want to notify the support team in Slack upon detecting the error. To do so, we we'll add a step in the on error to post a Slack message to the support team. You can access the error information in the data pills. 
Each error handler block will add its own data pill, error type, and error description. We will use this information to populate the Slack message to the support team so that they can easily identify the case record and see the error information. Next, let's add another step in the onError section to update the case record in Salesforce to indicate that it fails to create the issue in Jira. Now, let's save and activate this flow. Let's create a new Salesforce case and set the priority to high. In order to generate the Jira error, I'm going to leave the description empty. This is mapped to the Jira summary field, which is a required field. When the composer flow is triggered and run, the Jira create issue step failed because the Jira issue summary is a required field. The composer run history will mark this run as failed. You can see the error detail in the run history. In this case, the error message states that the required parameter is resolved to now. You can see that the support Slack message has a new message with the flow failure information and case ID. You can also see the case record in Salesforce with the custom field Jira issue ID has been updated to fail. Now that the support team has been notified via Slack, they can easily find the Salesforce case record and fix the problem. See how easy that was? Awesome admins! Now you too can add error handling to your flows to make them more robust and resilient. The feature is in open beta today. If you have further questions or feedback, please post to our Composer community group on Trailhead. Thank you, Sai, for that great demo. Using this new error handling feature, admins can better manage those unexpected errors in their Composer flows. And that's a wrap. Thank you for watching this episode of Did You Know? Awesome admin.